So we start by searching for the seri airfoil. So uh, first, uh, please note down this address, airfoiltools.com. And then you search for the airfoil. If you don't find it, just go control F, just type seri. Um, see. Let's go to say, might as well just try NREL. Okay, so we have the list of NREL airfoils here. This is basically the same thing as SERI airfoils. SERI stands for uh, Solar Energy Research Institute, which is now, now known as NREL. So let's go for this SE, sorry, the S807 airfoil. So I click on this one here, and uh, the, the airfoil is going to look something like this here. And uh, what I do is I immediately go down here and I copy this that file. Okay, so instead of downloading it, I just go and I copy this. Okay, just for the dead file. So you have some line parser warnings here. That file parser warning line two has some invalid characters, which are this uh, x y x over c y over c. So that's uh, that's fine. We'll get rid of that. So I've just copied this. Okay, uh, and then I want to just quickly open up um, this other sort of uh, window where I have max foil. So here I just go and create a text file, a text file, and I say uh, Seri. I don't, I forgot the name, so it's you can put S8 or something. So I just put Seri there. Okay. So I just open, double click, open, and I do control V. So I paste all of it here. I remove this top line from here. Actually, if you want, you can remove all of the backspace, you can remove all of the written material from here. Okay, backspace there. Now, if you want, you can leave the top line there. So if, if it says S807, so that's the title. So x you can recognize the first header line. After that, it will not want to read anything else. Okay, so it's best to remove everything else. Then when you're done, there's one more thing left is you want to go to file, you want to save as, okay, you want to save as in the same root where the XFOIL is. So you open all files and then you save this as seri.tat. So you can save it as any name you want, okay? Doesn't really matter. Okay, and then I do a save here close this so you have a seri.dat file so the the file with a text document is not so useful to us the one that is useful is the seri.dat which is this one and we go to our xfoil just quickly open xfoil and then here we just do a load command and then load our seri.dat remember be careful the file name has to be exact there so it has loaded so it has given you those points and thickness and all those things there. Okay, now I want to do a panel parameter, PPAR, there. So this is how the airfoil looks. At the moment, it has just 62 panels here, you can read. And the maximum panel angle is given as well. So what we go is just type N, and we increase the panel parameter to 140. That's just an arbitrary number, just increasing um, the number of panels. There you go. So increasing the number of panels means the calculation will be done at each and every panel. So the more panels you have, the more chance that the solution will converge early. Okay, so 150 to 200 panels is okay. Uh, then what I can do is just uh, do an OPA command, operation, okay. Uh, and then, okay, so sorry, and out this OPA here. Uh, OPA-I stands for operation in uh, in viscid mode, so I type V to enter a viscous viscous mode, okay, which is how reality in reality fluids are. I give it a Reynolds number, so I've picked 200,000, 1, 2, 3, so 200,000 is a Reynolds number, okay. Um, then I can just give it, uh, so you still are in the OPA-V sub-menu, so what you do is you just do V, PAR, which is the viscosity parameter, and then you can check that the turbulence intensity, which is the N critical here, is set to 9, it is by default 9, but if you want, you can change the turbulence intensity. Um, if you reduce the value of from 9 to say 1, 
then the turbulence intensity here will increase okay but i don't want you to go into that at the moment but make sure that if you are comparing two different airfoils that the value of the end critical is the same for all of the experiments or the tests that you do in xfoil okay so i can just press enter and i go to the sub menu there in the operation menu still i do angle which is the angle of attack and i give it an angle of attack of say um, zero degrees okay so you see it says not converged so what i do is i do shift exclamation mark which means to solve again and then it has converged okay so there you go so uh, it has actually converged from zero the lift to drag is given the cp graph is given here okay the interesting thing is you can also have a look at other things here so you can do um, you can do cpv which always give the cp vectors on the airfoil so if i type cpv in opa v mode um, and i go here so you see the it gives you the force or the cp vectors instead of the cp graph so you see this top region has a lot of suction and this vectors pointing upwards and then you have um, the downward uh, this force here okay which is not very useful because there is this lower surface here is sort of creating suction on the downward surface but towards the end you have again the upward force okay adding up here but this is again at zero 10 degrees okay so i go uh, cp again and it will transition back to this diagram where i just get the normal cp graph which is more useful okay now if you want you can also do angle sequence so as meaning angle sequence or ac asec as is angle sequence so it's asking you for the first value of alpha so let's say if s value is zero then it says the last value of alpha so i want to go from zero to 10 degrees there and increments what would i want to go from zero to 10 when with increments of one degree intervals okay so i type one and then i do enter okay so it has all converged and you see here these are the the cl the cm the cd okay the x critical the top x uh, transition sorry and the bottom x transition so all these details are provided to you for different different angles and you can see the cp graph changing here as well okay now what we do is okay, so, so here in the last one the convergence has failed so you might not get the correct result here for some of these cases so what we can do is another way is to do a, a, a polar shape or polar accumulation we accumulate the polar so this is called polars or polar data which are used to then build the drag and the lift polars or the plots so we do a polar accumulation which is p a c c enter and then you give it a file name so my file name will be uh, out output okay so i don't have to put debt or something it will just build the file uh, extension by itself there and then it asks for dump file i prefer not to give a name to a dump file because sometimes xfoil confuses the root file with the dump file so just don't try anything and press enter so it would it should say polar accumulation enabled using the pec command okay now if i give angle sequence angle sequence or even just angle okay you can go angle by angle so um, i can give go angle sequence as enter first value is zero enter second value is say or maybe i just want to go to nine enter with increments of one and enter okay so so it says it has all of these have converged properly that's fine okay um i've gone all the way from zero to nine degrees now the reason i did a polar accumulation is it accumulates all this data to a file okay so i go here i minimize this I minimize this so my output file has been created here remember i named the pec accumulation file as the output file so here i right click and then i want to open it with my uh, notepad plus plus so i have a you can use notepad i have notepad plus plus which i use for coding so here you can see the alpha the cl the cd the cdp okay the cm and the x 
transition on top in the transition location at the bottom of the airfoil okay now one thing i want to uh, i want to tell you about is uh, is this cd here okay uh, okay before that uh, i'll tell you about the cd but before this i want to just show you a bit about uh, how to open this in in excel okay so you, i just close this so this is what the output from x foil is like okay you can also uh, close this and because my X file is still open, I've not closed it. I can do again here. I can just go individual angle, angle, angle of attack, and I want to put 10, 10. Okay, there you go. Now this has to go into the output, so I open the output again. Okay, just go here, open output. Okay, okay, it's not written there yet. Okay, maybe I just need to. Oh, the convergence has failed. Sorry, I just let me shift exclamation again. There, there. So I've done it. Now it says point edit to stored Paula one out point return to save file output. You've got you got to read that. Okay. So now the 10 degree output which I did individually, not as an angle sequence, should appear here. See, so I did it twice, and they have actually appeared the 10 degree. Uh, result has appeared the good thing about this is you don't have to take pen and paper and write down everything okay it appears uh, by itself here okay now i just want to quickly show you one more thing is you can just close this now you just come here new file i can create a, a microsoft excel file here and i can call this file my uh, results file here okay all right uh, my pc is very slow okay then i open my results file in Excel okay there you go my Excel has opened up uh, now what I do is I go to file and I do open okay browse so I just browse and then I look for the results so it has opened the root file go for Excel labs um, so I go for all files in the Excel tab and I pick output this is the file that we created using Excel and I do open so it says file format or something something open it anyway yeah okay yes i want to open it anyway then you go here and then you go and pick delimited okay, and then you go next here you pick these delimiters okay so you can pick all and then just check if it is in there okay it's good so you have actually don't need the comma and the semicolon the output for x foil uses the space delimiter so you just click on space and even tab is not needed okay next and finish okay so now you see all the data that you need from your f has been transferred to a excel output sheet okay now this is the key thing we are after cdp cdp is not cdp like the korea company cdp is actually the the pressure drag okay and our drag here is made up of two components the pressure drag and the skin friction drag okay so if i put here skin friction drag this is something that is not output directly but you can calculate it so let's go here equal to cd minus cdp okay because eventually drag cd is equal to cdp plus skin friction drag okay and uh, and then this is my skin friction drag okay so you get your skin friction drag separately in a in a separate sheet here okay now i don't want to go ahead and show you how to plot those things that's like a bit overkill i think all of you know how to plot you need to plot angle versus um, these results angle versus cl by c cl cd uh, you can calculate l by d okay just go equal to L by D is the same as CL by CD or CL divided by CD. There, enter, and you just go down all the way here. So you see um, your L by D is increasing all the way to 10 degrees. Okay, so now again, I just did it to 10 degrees. I don't know what you want to do it up to. Okay, so that's entirely your choice as long as you are happy with. Um, with, with whichever angle you want to study. Okay, now this is just a short recap 
uh, or video of how to use XFOIL to just get basic doubt, data out of it and some automation of files and all those things to answer the question that someone posed uh, to me in the tutorial session and I was not able to answer this. Uh, so this is, uh, this is the answer to that question. I hope it answers your question. Okay, thank you.